All right, now we're going to take her apart. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do it. You can tell me if I, first thing we should do is pull that out. Mm -hmm. All right. Set that up. Put it up to the side. Boom is out. All right. There are turn screws underneath the uh, music stand. And this comes with two pieces. There's a board. Set that off to the side. And then there's a base for that. One, two screws. You gotta hang out of the hardware when we take these things apart because they all go into a hardware container. So, yeah. put this off to the side. And then this has got the front plate's got to come out. Same, same, same uh, turn screws. One and two. So once this is gone, we'll put that off to the side. We could lift this. Oh, did you say I could gain access to the liar from in here? But I can't because of the wood plane. Yeah, I like this. Oh, so this is an easier roll. Yeah, you're right. This backboard out. Then you okay. Get right into there it. we go. Then we, we slide this piece out, put this off to the side. And then, then I can gain access to these two wing nuts uh, that hold the liar in place. One. See the liar for a moment. When you get a moment, you're able to put your sustain pedal in here and use these screws also to anchor it down again from mm -hmm. screw from the bottom with, with one if it's not long enough. Yeah. It'll be quite a bit longer in this direction. Right. Right. And then you, you reverse it down onto the top of your sustain pedal, and then you're able to run the sustain pedal cord through this chase. Okay. Got it, got and, it. And hide it all. All right, we're already going to turn, I already know we're going to have to turn this screw around. Mm -hmm. We may as well do that now, just to give it, because it's kind of swinging right now. So by turning it upside down, it gives it the ability to touch the floor. But the downside is, is that it might be a little trickier to turn it. So, all right. So there is the wire. Screws are in there really good. I don't want to lose those, so I'm going to tighten them up so they don't fall out. Sometimes, okay. Some hardware we're going to keep off to the side. Some hardware we're going to keep in the accessories. And then uh, these two pieces are going to swing in. They are held together by another. I guess we'll call it a wing nut. Yeah. And now uh, one and two. We refer to those as sled knobs. Sled knobs. Yeah. All right, two more pieces of hardware there. Oh, and then, you can swing in, you gotta have to yeah, take the weight off. Lift them up a little bit and take the weight off. Slide them in. Okay, there's that. And this, this stays. Okay, we're ready for the, we're ready for the case. We are. All right. So, case is gonna take a couple of guys. All right. The logo keyhole goes right on top. All right, this, uh, this part is definitely easier to do guys. You put it down, but if you're by yourself, you watch me do it. So. Yeah, now the trick is when you're when you're pulling it up, it can't be done with one guy. But I find one person should put their foot on the leg when it's being tilted up so it doesn't slide underneath you. So now we're going to tilt it backwards. And I'm ready for you, All right. Essentially, we're going to... 
We could turn it upside down. Just roll it over the rest of the way. Yeah, roll it right below. Turn it upside down. We might have to move the camera now. There we go. Back in the All right. Screw the hardware out. Six pieces. Six bolts. And these are just hand tight. Why you try it? Hand tight is fine. There it is. Six of those. All right, now we're ready to put all our hardware away. There's a little case in here. It's a soap. It's a soap container. And it's underneath the leg. So, throw all our hardware in there. And it won't fit. We need a better solution for that, huh? Yeah, I have one. All right, so I can get everything in, but the two, the two that uh, there's a there's a pocket in the case. Is there a pocket on the yeah, case? So I would choose which hardware you want where, if not all of it in the pocket. All right, so I'm gonna everything fits in nicely, except for those two knobs. Except for the two knobs that uh, hold the the sides the side flaps. Yep. yep the, all right, so I'm gonna put those in my down. pocket. We'll put those in the case. Yeah. Now the thing is, we gotta tighten. I got cord in the way. And these are already basically set to the correct strength. You should ever really have to do anything but just connect them. One, two, and three. Yeah. And it gets picked back up from this orientation. Yeah? Okay. Alright, this is where bag where our accessories go. That's so it looks like we should put this in first and probably upside down so it doesn't scratch. Alright. So we'll slide that one in. My guess is this one. And probably also upside down. Alright. Now we can probably get the boom in there. Right? Yeah, now those things. Won't necessarily come out easily because they're way down at the butt. They'll, they might slide that way. However, they do tend to come out if all you, all you gotta do is just kind of, you know what I'm saying? Pick this end up and they fall out. Okay, so. All right. Well, these are also pieces we're probably not gonna use live. A lot. We're not gonna, these are the parts for the, uh, the music stand uh, and, and uh, the, uh, the lid prop. The lid prop. Mm. All right, so they're gonna go in. That's going to go in, and then this is going to go in. That's cool. It all goes in. <laughs> okay, so now what do we? Okay, so the rest of these, in theory, we should be able to get inside the piano. Yeah, it'll so now it's time right for us to tip the piano down one more time. Maybe? Well, now that that's no? so for me, if it was me, adding all the extra weight before you move it might be counterproductive. Uh, I'm going to see what it's like. Let's go ahead and get them in there. Okay. All right. Yeah, Let's see what it's like. Yep. Put it back down on its back. Put it on. Okay. Uh, Probably just this one strap here. All right. Just legs, seven. you think the legs should go in first? Or do you think I should put maybe the mm -hmm. music stand in? Well, let me show you how the legs, the legs are made to go in here. Right. But I just don't have any way to strap them down. Okay. I'll show you how. So there's actually a groove down inside there. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, I see the groove. Okay. And the legs are meant to All go. three of them go up. I think they get stacked. Stacked one on top okay. of another, yes. All right, so I think I do see the groove. One, two, and three. All right, those are all grooved. All right. And the light so wire go there too? Should. Should? Okay. Let's see why not. Yeah. Nice. Just, just, just 
<laughs> and then lastly this part So what were you going to suggest we put that? Put the back up on its wheels. Put it back up on its wheels. Ah. Okay. All right. Oh, I got a couple of. Oh yeah, those. Yeah. Uh, plug holes. Right there. Plug, yeah, plug holes. So these covers. Oh, covers. Those two are for the music stand. What was that one? Mic boom. Mic boom. Okay. Chips. All right. Um, so maybe a design for the on the zipper on the other side. I agree. I'm watching, trust me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm watching all of this. All right. So we're all packed up. Now, I'm able to. Oh, wait. It's got to get moved. Where's the wheels? You want to pick it up from this yeah, side? Yeah, I want to pick it up from this side. So. Move. I'm, I'm moving it with ease. Wow. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> okay. This is extra accessory bouncing around. All right. End of video.